This time on Not Rod, we get the wacky machine running. So last time we were at the races, we discovered how handy it would be to have some sort of a little moped or something like that that our pit crew could ride around on. And this just happened to be sitting in the backyard, so we're going to try to get this thing running. Yeah, well, that's the plan. It looks like it should. First thing I've noticed is the fuel line is not connected. It's got a golf tee in it. So I guess I'm going to hook that up. All right, fuel line's back on. Then it looks like something's wrong with the spark plug wire. Doesn't fit on there worth a damn. Let's break it a little bit more. And we can just pinch this. Okay. Theoretically, we got fuel and spark. <laughs> Theoretically. Jump started off the Nova. It's only good for a 15 second quarter mile. Might as well, might as well use her for something. <laughs> okay. Let's see if it tries to do anything. Yeah, sounds like it's got compression. Yeah, I think we just need to put fuel in it. I'm just, I'm going to be so surprised if it just starts right up. Squirt some, Squirt something in it. some goodness in there. Yeah, do you have any starting fluid or anything? We got carb cleaner. <laughs> I, that stuff's pretty flammable. I might do something. Yeah. Okay, so I have to be very careful not to like spray that near the exhaust pipe right here <laughs> while you're cranking. <laughs> Go for it. Hey. It wants to run. It's got spark, obviously. So is it okay. pulling the fuel, I guess, is the next question. May have a clogged strainer in the tank or something. Yeah. And I had thought about that too, before I put that line back on. Like I should check that. Do we ever go through the proper sequence of like checking things the way we should? Uh, no. Uh, it's not much, but you'd think it'd be enough to run on. Carburetor probably needs to be pulled off and cleaned. Well, yeah, probably pull that carburetor off. No air cleaner. I'm gonna blow it off of there. This one is the throttle. Are you getting that? <laughs> Which one? That one. Cable. Cable is throttle. Oh, it says on there. <laughs> this is for the oil thing. And then this is for the throttle cable. Cable is throttle and oil is lubricant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Figured that out. And I'm going to say green is green. And yellow is yellow. Golfer's plug. That shit is nasty. Probably should be wearing gloves, huh? <laughs> it had fuel in the bowl. It had a little bit, oh, but that looks... It's all varnished up. It needs to be clean. Um, I'm gonna go wash my hands and then I'm gonna put some gloves on. <laughs> That's nasty in there. Yeah, that might explain a lot, huh? This is your main jet here. That looks totally clogged. And there's no way that was letting fuel through. I'm gonna ramrod that thing. So here's a piece of advice. 
Don't even try to rebuild a carburetor on a small engine. It's just not worth it. Hence the circus music in the background, because that's exactly what this turned into. And ultimately, after we were done with this episode, we ended up just replacing the carburetor altogether with a brand new one for 20 bucks, and the thing had never run better. There is a lot of garbage in there. So, I found what you don't want to do. Let's hold on to these little parts lightly, because <laughs> they will go flying. Only going that far. Well, we're making progress. My hand's hurting. <laughs> I think I probably just need to drill that until it pops through. <laughs> I don't know. Nope, that looks like metal. Probably about as far as we want to drill on it. There we go. Hopefully, I didn't f up that seat for the needle. 35 miles an hour. Yeah, I don't think she's the fastest unit. Man, you can you can really break the speed limit in this thing, can't you? Um, probably not. Will it do a burnout? That's the only thing I want to know. I suspect not. <laughs> Alright, baby, I can feel it. You're going to want to run now. And you said green went to yellow and, and yellow, yellow went to, green. to green. That sounds like it's running off the carburetor. This thing seems like it's going to be goofy to try to ride. <laughs> yeah, I bet it's it is. on there kind of precariously, but <laughs> it is on there. There she goes. Probably out of gas now. All right, kick me off. Running very good. Hey, that's wide open. Oh, there she goes. I think it needs more fuel. Um, it was super fun for a second. All right, we'll put some more in there so we know that we can run it on full on regular on. Coming in hot. It kind of runs. I think it may need a little bit more work, but... It looks like you're riding a shopping cart. <laughs> so Honda calls this sweet unit the Gyro S. That is a bad name. So we have called it the Super Wacky Mobile because it is super weird to ride. And the last time we took it out, it did not go so well because it ran like crap and we couldn't even get it back up the hill. So we're going to tear back into it and see if we can get it to run right. So you can probably pull that carburetor off. Let me get some documentation of this hole you drilled out. This bitch is going to be purring like a kitten in no time. Yeah, that are running way too rich. <laughs> One of the two. Listen to that powerhouse. <laughs> Just pukes out a ton of oil. Lots of oil. That's, that's pretty funny that you can kill the engine by putting your hand over the exhaust. Hmm. What do you think? Still kind of runs like crap. Yeah, it does. I wonder if we can drain all the oil out of it and see what it does. That looks like motor oil to me. Let's drain it out and put some two-stroke in. I think oil is the top one. Oh, that's gasoline. I would say that's the wrong one. <laughs> I thought for sure I took the bottom one off. It looks pretty brown. Let's see if we can speed up this process. Can't wait to ride this thing. Freaking blast the Palm Springs. 35 miles an hour. Take you a couple years, maybe. Should we run it with no oil in it? Man, 
as long as it's smoking, that means it should be getting plenty of oil. Still smoking like a pig. Seems like it might have more power. Because before, you could stop the wheel. Don't hit that. <laughs> okay, we must have got the oil cleared out of it finally. Yeah, okay. Now let's put some good stuff in it. You know, there may be something wrong with that mixing system too. Yeah. And if that's the case, we're just gonna have to dump all the oil out and mix it into the tank. Yep. Much better. No, it just died. Ah, it started running really good there towards yeah. the end, so. That sounds like it. That was running good enough to be fun. Yeah. Oh, and it will be. <laughs> oh, it's not out of gas, is it? It shouldn't be. I put a full tank in it, remember? Well, I mean, this is a high performance machine. It's a gas hog. Uh, it looks like I ran a lot of gas through it, actually. I mean, we have both this and the Nova at the track. I don't know which one's gonna run out of gas first. Damn. We must have been on reserve. Oh, this thing's gonna be fun now. It's gonna be extra wild and wacky. <laughs> it might even do a burnout. It might. Woo! The power. Lost power now. As soon as the oil got in it. Well, just out of curiosity. Um, I mean, it feels like it runs a little bit better. And by how much it's smoking, I feel like it, the mixture just isn't right. This thing has an automatic oiling system where you put two-stroke oil in one tank and gas in another, and it mixes the two in the manifold. It's actually a pretty neat system, but we thought there might be something wrong with it. So we decided to take that variable out of the equation by draining the oil out and mixing some 50 to 1 directly into the gas tank. Okay, super wacky machine. Make this proud. better. Get this hog out on the open road. kind of get you around a little bit now. I mean, it doesn't really make it up hills all that great, but no, it's, better. it's be definitely better than it was. 
That thing just chowders down the fuel. I know, man. I thought these things were supposed to get good fuel mileage. Not that one. I'm impressed. I'm impressed on how bad the fuel mileage is. I, I feel like a Prius probably gets better fuel mileage than that thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you got that, dude. Just a little more speed. expect some enlightened speech about life or what we learned or something like that and I got nothing. It's a scooter for Pete's sake. The only thing I can say is we had about as much fun as a couple of kids that just found a box of matches and hopefully in the process we brought our viewers something entertaining. And now it's time for some money shots of this bad bitch. This time on Not Rod, we build a white or <laughs> I don't know if that machine's worth an episode, but that's supposed to do something, right? A raging clue. A raging clue. That orifice is so small. <laughs>